Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Virtual Riot, and I want to show you guys how to make the main sound of my track, The Recall, from my new EP, Save Yourself, out on Disciple Recordings. <laughs> So the sound sounds like this. And I initially thought I couldn't, um, I couldn't like just show it to you in one serum patch because I always do lots of processing on this with like saturators and all kinds of distortions and like sp certain plugins that you might not have. But it actually sounds kind of fine without all of those. Uh, it just sounds like this. So most of it is actually coming from the serum patch, which uh, we'll also be giving away. So stay uh, till the end of the video for that. Um, so I'm just going to try and recreate this from scratch now. And there's actually something really interesting happening in this patch here, because this was a happy accident, um, how this came about. So I'm just going to import the MIDI into a, a fresh serum. And this patch actually came from the idea of FMing two sine waves at the highest possible frequency, and then just seeing what happens. And it actually sounded really cool because of, uh, I think, some, some digital aliasing issues. Uh, so we're just going to take two sine waves. I'm going to turn the second one down. And um, then we're just going to FM from B, like we always do. Uh, turn it all the way up, and now just turn the pitch of both oscillators up to like plus four, like really high. That sounds like ass. Um, but we have to go even higher with the pitch on the second oscillator. And soon you like reach this area where this digital aliasing kind of sounds like a yoi kind of filter, or yoi kind of sound. Like weird bit crushy. So what I did in the original patch is I just automated this pitch over here a tiny bit to kind of create a bit of a phrase. So I'm just going to use one LFO here and write a bit of a little steppy line in here. I don't know, just something like this. And then you kind of, you kind of get this really weird digital sci-fi noise. Um, but that's not all. So. I think in the original I used a triangle here, but that doesn't make much of a difference. So next up, uh, distort that, just to get it louder. Maybe add a sub, uh, use an OTT. And because, so there's all these really high sharp frequencies that sound a bit annoying. Um, I think in the original I used a bandpass filter to smoothen it out a little bit. So with that, we're already at something like and now we can modulate the bandpass filter with the same LFO we have here, so... Or the other way around. That's slowly getting there. Um, for width, there's actually a cool trick that I recently started using a lot. So in Serum, we have this weird hyper slash dimension effect um, that kind of sounds like a sophisticated detune or something, um, but I like to set it to like a really high rate and a really strong detune. So if you if you had it like all the way in, it'll just sound super detuned, kind of cool, but I like to bring it in just like slightly, just for additional stereo width. You can even automate it so it only comes in kind of like with every womp. So now your sound sort of oscillates between being very mono and then going really wide just for uh, a little bit. So that's a cool way to make your sound more dynamic. Okay, how else can we spice this up? Obviously, for in the original patch, the most important part was the pitch this was at. Like finding a sweet spot where this kind of sounds like a melody that the patch is playing. We can also change the LFO strength on this, or maybe instead of going from the top down, it could come up from the bottom. That's kind of cool. And then in the original, we have this little, like, this little uh, move where the LFO seems to go a little faster. I think that was just the LFO modulating the pitch here. So if I put this on eighth notes, we kind of get that. So you only want that for like a little bit to have some accents just to... So now you have some interesting stuff happening there. Already a bit of a more exciting phrase 
And there we go. So that's cool. Once you have like a weird LFO like this that's doing something in your patch that's important, like in this case, uh, changing the pitch of uh, oscillator B, it's really fun using that for other stuff. So for example, if we used a flanger as our filter, that's already kind of cool. Uh, but we could even automate the pitch with our strange LFO. So. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is some uh, real fun stuff to just mess around with that. Um, I think in the original patch I had a comms filter doing kind of that, just for extra saturation. So yeah, that's kind of the patch. Um, one more cool trick I can show you to maybe give this a little more room is to create a kind of like a slapback delay inside Serum uh, just with the delay. So it'll sound like just one echo. Uh, giving you kind of the, uh, the the sound as if this was happening like in a small room and you just have like one reflection from a wall. So you just take the delay and turn the feedback all the way down and the mix to maybe like 50. And um, then I, I change it to not be on BPM mode but uh, still linked. So now you have like this one reflection that's uh, giving your sound a bit of room. So now you can change the uh, time to whatever fits the BPM of your track. So you can even make it like really far away, like a really long delay. And it sounds more like, an, like a reverb almost because of the filter. So if this was all the way open, it's just a copy of the original signal. But with this filter, you can kind of shape the room this is in. So if it was like a very glossy sound, you can have it like this. Or if it's a really dampened room, you put the filter down a bit. So that's a cool way to add extra space. And what you can even do then is delay left from right a little bit. So your delay happens here first and then here later or the other way around. And this way, again, you get more stereo width without compromising your mid signal. So that's a cool trick to do that to if you want more stereo width. Same with the hyper dimension thing. Um, those are just things I started using as of recently to get my sounds uh, a little wider or give them a little more room without compromising the mid signal or without making it sound too messy. All right, um, I hope you learned something. I know this is a bit of a weird sound, but uh, this was a happy accident that I just really worked for this track and I really wanted to share this. Um, there's probably going to be a link in the description or something uh, to the preset in Serum. You can download it, uh, pull it up and mess with it, try it out, see what you can get out of it. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time. Recall.